welcome to Ghost Theory. In this episode, we return to the St. Canelms Church. This was the first location we visited for this channel exactly one year ago. With stories of devil worship and dark entities being summoned here, it makes a, um, does, does that even make sense in a church? Is that a thing? Like you can worship the devil in a church? How, there, there must be better places to do that. Like don't fight me in the comments, I don't understand. I just don't, I, eh. Going back a couple of years now, this oh, used to be the entrance. It did. But it is no longer. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> Ow. Good. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh, Joe, you go first, because if you die, right, I know it's not a good idea. What happens, like, if I do actually die? Like, if I just, if I fell and that was it? Well, then I know it's not a good idea. <laughs> good point. It's quite self-explanatory, really. <laughs> when you do explain that in a sentence. Yeah. <laughs> I've been wondering that for a year. <laughs> oh, I can't see. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, this is grand. Um, Joe? Mm. I can't see. Oh, well. Can you shine the light on the stairs? I can confirm. Yeah. We are in. Seriously. I don't know who Lee is, but I am being serious, yeah. Excellent. <sighs> See? <laughs> oh, wow. That it's literally straight up into the church. That's amazing. I'm going to get naked first. Yeah, there are some horrid fucking creatures down here. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I was, I was just about to get out. <laughs> I just heard someone talking. Yes, I did. Cool. Hello? This is uncomfortable. Yeah? Tell me if you die. I'm dead. Uh, see you later. <sighs> oh dear. <sighs> and... Action. action. <laughs> Off you go then. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to Ghost Theory. Hello. Mark. Hello and welcome to Ghost Theory. Hello. Mark, I hate it when someone interrupts me while I'm doing hello. So, I always say that. I always say hello. Yeah, but you need to say hello after I finish talking, otherwise you're interrupting me and it's but annoying. You, but the problem is with you is you don't stop talking. Well, I do stop talking. <laughs> really? It's just you always stop me talking before I stop well, talking. Exactly. So you say I never stop talking. Well, then. But I do stop talking. It's only I only stop talking when I'm finished doing what I was going to say. Yet you always interrupt me. Right. So hello. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Ghost Theory. My name's not Elliot. My name could be. And today we're here. Excellent. So in this lovely little church that we came to many, many moons ago. Actually, 365 moons ago. Yes. Not that I'm encountering anything, but it's a year Absolutely. of Ghost Theory, near enough. Yes. For the date, and this is the very first location we ever came for this channel. So it's uh, very fitting to be here, isn't it? For your ears, did you say? Very fitting uh, for my ears. It's very ironic because yeah. I didn't say that. It's very fitting for my pub. <laughs> it's very fitting to be back here. Um, right, so, all seriousness. Um, what I was going to say is we've already heard talking. We've actually done all the room checks and unless people are sort of hiding up in the tower bit or below us... Um, we haven't seen anyone. And the talking is very strange because we were both very adamant at the very beginning. My name is Joe. Oh. I, I, I haven't yeah. met Adam. We are, we are very adamant that we've... I, I've we've just said shut that up. That <laughs> okay, let's have a look around. Go. So I'm glad you enjoyed that look around. <laughs> <laughs> Onto the uh, paranormal investigation. Yeah. That up there is a window that we originally came through a year ago has obviously been boarded up. Oh, my leg is literally still in the in the window. Wow. That was sketchy getting through it, actually. Yeah, it um, was. Then again, I can't say this was any less sketchy, to be fair. But anyway, that's the new entrance. <laughs> and exit, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, yeah. Um, so, what have we got here? We have got a sort of basement area, which I did climb down before. You're doing it again? Uh, I will climb down there to do an investigation. Is there anybody down there hiding by any chance? No. No, I think you're clear. Yeah. And we will be going up there again 
in during this investigation. Just wanted to check this room because we haven't actually looked in there properly. So yeah, there's nobody in here. It's got a cool symbol there. This 12th century sculpture is said to be of Saint Canelm himself, a young Saxon boy who was murdered at the age of just seven years old. There are supposedly only seven churches dedicated to Saint Canelm, but we found eight, because either we can't count, or some other bizarre historical reason that hardly ever makes any sense. Do you remember last time there was blood in here? Is there still blood in there? It's not, it's just sort of like dust now. Yeah. But the, there was definitely blood in there and you can see the candle wax. So people definitely come in here and they do some weird things. So this place has been known for a satanic worship um, or even people who say it's satanic worship not knowing what they're doing, they're still playing around with things. I think we just get on with the investigation because there's not... I think I know the answer is why everyone thinks there's ghosts here. Um, yeah. They've all been pissed. <laughs> ah. Well, thank you for watching Ghost Theory. <laughs> it doesn't explain the talking that we heard because we've not been drinking, but we did have a McFlurry. Haven't you? I have. Anyway, should we, um, should we start down that end where you just put that bottle of Malibu down? <laughs> He gets forgetful after <laughs> a bottle or two. <laughs> um, okay, so we are two paranormal investigators. We're just basically two people who have come here to try and have a conversation with anybody who may still be in this building. We did come here almost exactly a year ago to try and talk to you, and we had some very interesting activity. We have some devices set out around the place. We have one on the floor just in front of us here. A little black circle with an aerial, as you do. I'm sure you've probably seen one of those before, because I'm sure other people also come here to try and talk to you. We also Ooh. have Ooh. a knock. It echoed through. We also have a device on the thingy mabob over there with a the green light, if you can see it, because I can't, <laughs> but there is one there. Um, basically, can you try and manipulate anything? What was a tap then? And then? That was like a voice, yeah. Did you try and speak to us? Did you just try and use your voice? Can you do it again? Okay, that's talking. I don't know where that's coming from. This church is not attached. Is that a cow in a field somewhere or someone in pain? It sounds like a fucking demon scream. So there is one opposite, but yeah, very that's, quiet house. That, that's not gonna make those noises that's from in here. It does sound like someone talking down the other end. It's it really does. bizarre. Like praying. <clears throat> if that was you, thank you. Can you make it louder? I turn my light off. I can say, let's stay here. Can you talk to us? Can you talk in the distance? There are voices. They're fucking voices. I don't know if I'm going mad, but we both... No, I can hear it clear. I 
Oh, guess what? There's another car. Oh, yay. Mer lovely. <sighs> um, Should we take the K2 with us? Yeah. Okay, so we're basically just going to take the K2 up with us. We're going to have a look upstairs. We've got the REM pod left in the middle. Yeah. Um, but we need to have a look up, up, well, upstairs, up in the tower, because um, yeah. we keep hearing voices, so... It's horrible, isn't it? It's vertical stairs, vertical ladder. <laughs> Beer bottle there, up there as well. Good. <clears throat> was that you just made that thumping noise? No. That? It is you. That was me. Are there any spirits down here? <laughs> just while you're climbing up there. Can you come and touch the devices that we've got? We have, um, I have this weird device in my left hand with a green light. If you touch this, it will just flash. You can follow us around while we're here, not after we leave, but while we're here. Come and touch this device. We also have another black device with an aerial. I think I introduced earlier. If you touch it, it would basically just make a noise even more annoying than the guy that's now up in the tower. Hard to believe, but maybe try it in the... <laughs> Find out. So I like using you as a bit of a... A demonstration. Yeah, gee, thanks. <laughs> oh, this is just weird, isn't it? Oh, shh, shh. I can't really stop it, am I? Shush. We must. What? I just wanted to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can't really stop it. Please <laughs> carry on. <laughs> <laughs> so revenge for that comment. <laughs> okay. As soon as we're up here. Okay, this feels weird actually. How are we could we go further? Well there's no one up here and we've essentially tried to establish if there's um Yeah. How many people, there's not. <laughs> this doesn't feel safe. Are there any spirits who wish? There is, there is somebody talking. Yeah. This floor is making me feel really uneasy, I don't know why. Are there any spirits up here with us? Who's talking? I don't, is it our rep, the reverb? It's like, I know no one's ever gonna hear it and you're actually gonna think we're mad. There is, there is talking. I, uh, is it like it's not, it's not like high pitched in it some sense? Like, it's like kids. What I'm hearing, <laughs> yeah, is if it was like kids hiding away from us, as yeah. if they know we're here and they're trying to be funny. Yeah. Oh look at car. Is there anyone up here? Did anybody die in this tower when they built it or something? It's just we don't think we're on our own. We're intrigued to talk to anybody who may still be here. He's talking. I can hear that really clear. And the problem is, it is so light. You're definitely not going to hear it on camera unless you've got super ear friends, maybe. But we can hear it. And um, it is very, very quiet, even to our ears. But it's definitely there. Never gone off. We need to go down. You have a laugh. We've never had that go off. We, we have literally point blank never had that go off.
Oh my shit. Yeah, we have to because I we've got so first things first is all the camera equipment if that is somebody down there. Oh. Hello? Going to bloody pitch black. <clears throat> oh shit, that's not the floor. Okay. Oh wait here. <laughs> Fuck. Need my light. It's in the same place. And um, shit. Camera's flickering. Again. You're joking. What? Why is it doing that? How do, how do we have so much bad luck with things draining our batteries? Seriously. Fully charged. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. There's nobody here. I know, right, so some people having a REM pod go off might not be the most insane thing in the world. Yeah, but that just does not go off. Yeah. I mean, literally, look at this. Like, you do basically, like, this isn't the case of, like, you just need some energy nearby. You need to touch this thing. Do you know what, right? Those lights are not going off. The problem, that was not as loud. No, yeah, those lights are not going off. Do it again. You have to touch it for the lights go off. If we if we look at the footage and those lights are going off, then we know something has just come and touched it. That's not just energy, or something has gone near it or something. Like something has actually touched it. Should we have a look at the footage? Mm. Alright, you can see um, with the footage that the lights are flickering in that there is nobody around. We've got all on camera. Um, theories, malfunction with the REM pod. That's the only theory I can come up with. <laughs> That's the best. That's all we've got. It's... Um... There's just a chance that it might have accidentally gone off on its own. Is that what we're going with for this time? Because I... I mm. Nothing there moved. No. That does not go off. It sounds stupid to be so mind-blown by REM pod going off, because loads of people have got REM pods going off. But, but we've had REM pods go off. But the last REM pod we had, had you, like a moth could fly past it and go off. That's why we changed it, because it was too sensitive. Yeah, like you could walk through the building, you could do this, yeah. and it would set off the other REM pod. This one, you have to actually touch it. It's just bizarre, isn't it? Because we've had REM pods go off before, and we're like, oh yeah, it's really cool. But, that, that... but this one is different, because I can't think of any reason for it. It sounds stupid. Like, the other REM pod goes yeah. off if something walks near it. Yeah. The, the other REM pod goes off... You could, you could sneeze in the other room and it would go off. Like, it was never particularly that impressive to me that it would go off. Because yeah. we used to set it off all the time and we used to have to debunk it in a sense. We'd almost just be like, no, it's gone off, but it might have just been us walking. That, like, you, you have to kick it, you have to punch it, you have to make it move. Yeah. We need to stop being so mind-blown by it because we just captured some paranormal evidence on a paranormal show. 
Let's be honest. If there are any spirits here who wish to make contact, please make a sound. Can you copy me? Is there someone listening to us? You walk towards us. Can you set off the device again? Hmm. Are you walking towards us? Because that's a really weird noise, because you, you would theoretically be walking on a solid ground, we can hear wood. Can you make that wood sound even louder? Unless it's sound, make it. Hey? Unless it's sound, one of the pews. Hmm. We are touching this. Yeah. It's deeper than that. Do you want to hold that? Can you come and walk towards us? Set this off. It's fucking random. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, I've turned my back to you now, so you could creep up on me and I wouldn't know you're there. That might make you feel like you want to do something or a bit safer with me not looking. If you come up and touch me or push me or something, is there any way you can make any contact with me? Can't make that up, can you? So I just sat down and I said, there's something behind me. And we've just heard something scraped on the back of my seat. And of course, neither of us reported it. So what we were going to say as well is we were going to sort of stop here because of the amount of traffic. Hence. <laughs> and on cue. Um, but I think maybe what we should do for now on is just we'll just keep recording and not cut out the traffic because this has been five hours of recording. It's now three o'clock in the morning. Um, and it doesn't seem like it's ever going to stop. So we're just going to apologise from, from now on. There will be traffic noise that won't be cut out. But what is that behind me? Does it sound like something was like running as well a minute ago? Or whatever you would class that. I literally sat down, the first thing I said was to something behind me. 
Is there someone sat there? Something just sat behind you. Yeah, it was absolutely bizarre. I've got cold. It was so... It's, <laughs> of course, neither of us are recording. We turned the camera straight on, though. Yeah. And I think we heard it. No, we didn't hear the main noise, but it, we heard similar. What was that scraping? I don't know. Okay, I've got a really cool thing. We keep thinking we can hear someone or something, whatever you are. We have this device that you seemingly set off earlier. What would be great is if you could set it off with us nearby. It would be the ultimate proof of you actually being here. If that matters to you, it might not. If you could come up and touch the device just now while we're looking at it. Well, we recorded the, this going off, but we weren't in the room at the same time. And you just made a noise behind me. Can you do that noise again? I don't want to do it on cue. No, no. Wants to just be left alone. Is that right? You want to be left alone to do it yourself? You can do that. If you want us to leave, you just have to let us know. Some slightly messed up stuff now, but not messed up. We'll bring up some darker stuff. Hang on then. <clears throat> Just prepared myself for uh, being eaten alive. Yep. Go on. Do you like cauliflower? You're crossing the line, man. <laughs> we have heard that people have come here and tried to summon demons. People have come here for devil worship and black magic and done some really dark evil things here, possibly even people maybe even come here to sacrifice animals because we've seen blood. We know that people have been doing something satanic. Mm. Is there anything here that is, is dark? Is there anything that was summoned from hell? Is there anything that wants to cause harm to us? Can you answer the question by touching the black device with the aerial? Can you answer the, the question is... Oh, I mean, mm. Are you evil and dangerous but you're being suppressed because you have been summoned into a church? It's a very interesting question to me. Can you touch this device for yes? Or are you too weak to do that? Right, now, the same question goes to it for, if you are good, if you are good, please come and touch this device. I'll be honest with you, I don't feel anything good. This bizarre, though. I'm in a, a house of God. Well, it looks like he's moved out. <laughs> okay. We're just trying to understand what's here because the fact that this device is, is got off would mean that there is something here with us and we just want to know what you are. We've established so far that you either don't care that we're talking and don't want to do anything we're asking or you can't or you just don't understand the question that's essentially the only two options I can think of at this point so let's try and narrow this down let's go back to the beginning if you can actually hear my voice 
Can you just make a noise so that we know you're there? Whatever's here is gone, isn't it? <laughs> it's like... That's we've sorry. gone from, like, the most insane thing ever to being able to ask some really dark questions and get nothing. I don't understand. I don't understand. Are you still with us? I don't think it cares, and it just it's just gonna just jump out on us randomly when we're just going about what we're doing. I don't feel good here. Do you know it's weird? Because I've got to point where I don't care. I don't feel anything. I don't feel bad. I don't feel good. I'm just like, yeah, we're just. It's just another investigation. 